Hello, everyone, and welcome to Commander 99's Singleton Showdown. Uh, we're back with another episode, another gameplay here, and uh, yeah, let's let's just go around the table, introduce ourselves, and introduce what we're playing. All right. Well, I won the die rolls. First, um, I am playing Navon this week, uh, Dean of Iteration, cool. and uh, it's basically just mono blue wizards tribal and we're just going to be trying to do it perfectly and then do it again <laughs> so seeing panharmonicon hit the board everyone should be worried right and like actually i don't think i'm running it in here so oh the bond is basically a panharmonicon gotcha um i i felt like doing things three times was a little bit of an overkill yeah nobody would want to do that right no 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 <laughs> Okay, so we have a special uh, guest with us today. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, my name's uh, Terry, and uh, I'm starting up a stream. But uh, I, I don't know, I've been playing for a while, wanting to play with you guys, so I'm here. The deck I'm running is uh, Azuri Renegade Leader, and uh, it's quite literally just elf ball, beat face in with elves. A um, lot of cheap creatures, a lot of mana dorks. It just does what mono green does just dump your hand out on the board and then lose that's kind of how i play elves you know <laughs> it can happen it can <laughs> lose as fast as possible <laughs> all right well uh we got we got someone back charles uh charles was not available this week um not that we don't want jonathan on here you know it's just he, he wasn't wasn't here so jonathan's back for some gameplay why don't you tell us about what you're playing? Hi. Um, I'm playing the new Cranko. I'm just going to try to Voltron him and get as many goblins out as possible. Yeah. Yeah, that should be fun. I mean, increasing its power. So, Wizards so what you is I should beat you in the face first. Yeah, he can try. I, that's what I'm hearing. I hear that the, the goblins and the elves need to go to war. Uh, I'll, I'll watch <laughs> yeah. the battlefield. <laughs> all right well let's uh let's get started let's let's get into this all right all right well this is austin and i am playing four color plus one plus one counters so this is uh rayhan and ashaya this is uh i expect you guys to cast spells and increase the power of my creatures and uh hopefully they'll be very threatening for no reason and uh we can hopefully work out who who i attack you know, we'll talk mm. through it before I declare my flying bird. No, no mana gorge or hydra. I kind of just get us with that, or oh, I mean that's in here. That's in. Oh, here. okay. You didn't <laughs> want to play red and also throw in the Torin Mauler. You no, know, no, Ray stuff. Rayhan's too good. Rayhan's too good. I need uh to pass my counters over to my other creatures. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I will start with a Terramorphic Expanse. Just go ahead and slow fetch for an island. And... <laughs> well, I'm going to just make sure to hit uh, eight so that I skip through uh, yielding. Like I, I don't uh, don't don't slow the game down by uh, by waiting for to react with nothing, nothing on the board. Right. Oh, starting uh, off early. I'm starting with an Arbor Elf. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I expected Five. a Dork, right? You know? That's next turn. <laughs> yeah, there's only one Wizard Dork. Yeah, let's go play uh, a Mountain here. And that's here. the Bond. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no turn one Goblin? No. <laughs> I feel left out with my uh, non full art basic. All right, that makes me feel better. Yeah, I mean, I'll go grab a duel. <laughs> you got a full art duel? No, maybe. Actually, got a couple. They don't let us do that anymore. I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab a water grave. Oh, there we go. Full art duel. I'm full left out duel. of the party. All right. Wow. Um, I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Look at that. Austin already has 89 cards. Kill him. 
Uh, yeah. Yep. I'm <laughs> That's what happens when you play two commanders, you know. All right. Turn two. Gonna gonna throw out the Dean. Just go ahead and get it done. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. It's two mana. That it is. All right. Looky there. No land draw. Ooh. Okay. Well, lander. <laughs> okay. More mana. You can attack Austin with that Arbor Elf. I know mean, I thought about it. I uh, I took a damage already, you know? Look at that, 89 cards. <laughs> Turn one. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and play. Mountain here. Mindstone. Oof. A little ramping up. That's it. Ramp in red? No. Yeah. That's all. Nothing to worry about here. Okay. Hmm. Kind of puts me in an awkward position. Because I had all my colors. I have all my colors now. But Canopy Vista comes into play tapped, so. No turn two play. Hmm. Well, if it makes you feel any better, uh, I have to play a tapped land. <laughs> uh, Alright, we're going to go to combat. Yep. All right, uh, you ramped. <laughs> ah, what about green? Look at that, he ramped too. Yeah, but yeah, I have a two-one. Yeah, he won't block it. He missed the land draw. Won't I? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not willing to sacrifice the dean. School's in session. Please take two. I guess. <laughs> Are you gonna get there with commander damage this game? Oh, that's what I'm. We're gonna try. <laughs> You know, just 10 more well. attacks. Alright, two green, three green. Uh oh. Okay. Growing rights. Four lands, four yeah. lands, four lands. <laughs> Ooh, that would be rough. Uh, just no. two more creatures and you got a Kaya's Cradle. Right? One of them was a land. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Right. Revealed card. Ooh, more mana ramp. Yeah, that's 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 the card you want to hit when you're uh, when you're fighting for lands. Yeah, I figure if I'm not going to get lands, I might as well ramp out. Ooh. Come on, board wipe. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to find one in there. Yeah, let's go ahead and play this. Uh, this he John. Oof. No. Oh, more mana ramp. More reasons to hit you. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. I actually misplayed. I didn't mean to play that. Well, I mean, I think I think it worked out for you though. Grabbing. Oh yeah, it does now. Okay. <clears throat> what do I want to do here? I think uh, let's let's stay on curve, and just play uh, commander. <clears throat> Rayhan. That's a 3-3. Three, three. I can't get through that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you know I ran him in my Skullbride deck in paper. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely the 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 one you want to want to want to run. All right. You're going to play this Myriad Landscape tap. It's all right. Let's go trophy hunting. Okay. So this uh -oh. is going to be scry one and search for two. Yeah, unfortunately, the scry one happens first. Um, oh yeah. This doesn't matter where I put it because I'm going to go search for two. Okay. <laughs> I just got excited because Path of Ancestry is just such a good card, you know. I would like to use Trophy Mage's ability. It's like it's in here for a reason or something. Uh, well, I see all this ramp, so let's go ahead and get a. Kefnitz Monument. So just a magic. And then I'll use it again. And we'll get a Herald's Horn. Those both seem really good in that deck. Yeah, just just a little bit. Uh, declare attackers. 
Um, all right, let's get in while we can. There we go. Here, take some chip damage. Oh no, it wasn't at me. Oof, two hurts. I must discard a card. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Man, didn't see this one coming. All right, illusionist strategies. Let's get you in the bit. Okay. <gasps> Seems pretty good with an ETB theme. Yep, just a little bit. Okay. Aha. <clears throat> so that will be an active cradle next turn. Hmm. Hopefully. I didn't draw what I hoped for, but uh, let's go for it anyways. Um... Let's go ahead and play his gauntlet of power. Oh no. Oof. Uh, you can choose red. green, right? Yeah, any nope. other color. <laughs> any other color but red. Yeah. Go play this guy. Yep. That's Here. a Grenzo. A Grenzo. Somebody's off to a fast start. Uh, let's go play uh, this goblin. Okay. <laughs> Yeesh. Well, lucky for us, he only has two cards in hand after this, so. You know, just Vandal Blast him. Please no. Maybe. And it, with all of our red. I know, that's what, that's why I mentioned that card in, in particular. <laughs> so uh, that uh, their blue player is going to windfall, right? Oh, um, yeah. Lol. <laughs> mm. Nah, I'm good. I'm happy with my hand. <laughs> windfall. Nope. All right. Awesome. You can swing at me. I could. I won't. But I could. Uh, instead, I'm just going to grab a land. I don't know if I'm going to attack. There's no, no real reason to um, because of the crackback. So, Rayhan is enough for me as a nice 3 3 blocker. At least until I can get some uh, get some proper mana on board. We drew a land. Yay! Um, hmm. There's a lot of things going on here. I feel like just sitting here and being threatening. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I Pass. mean, it's a good plan, you know? Have some creatures as blockers, you know? We're all playing them. I mean, I'm all right with it. Gives you a chance to catch up. Hmm. Huh. Counter mana. I don't like that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. On a blue counter mana. <laughs> Sit here and be threatening. <clears throat> I'm sensing a theme with how you're tapping your mana. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> One at a time. Seems good. I mean, even if you happen to lose your creatures, it still produces a green mana. It does. And yeah, now you can make a 1 1 token with it, too. I could. You got options, really. We'll see. Mm. We'll see how they, they pair up against Krenko. And his uh, infinite infinite mana over here. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's go cast Cranko. You got a Cranko. A Cranko. Uh, da, da, da. Um, I think this is gonna get countered, but let's try it anyways. The Hammer of Nazan. <laughs> Oof. Kikuchu has plus two, plus zero, haste and indestructible. I wow. Won't, I won't swing Not at haste. you. No just haste, indestructible. just indestructible. Uh, no haste. <clears throat> but now have... everything he drops is going to instantly attach. Mm. Or he can yep. instantly attach. I'm not too worried with one card in hand. Wow, I am surprised at your target. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. 
You're not scared unless that one thing is like Prowler's helm. I guess next turn you could move it over if you really wanted to, but 5-3 Cranko or Grenzo Indestructible seems pretty good too. Hmm. Um, let's go to attack Austin here. Uh, can we talk about this? I don't know. <laughs> I believe the words I will not attack you were, were thrown out when, when we were considering on countering it. So, I mean, that leaves two options. One of them is elves on one land. Yep. Okay. I'm getting attacked. Hmm. I'm so glad you're, you're nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have one land. Okay. I well, technically two is to target somebody. Are you goading me? Nope. You should probably gonna, goad me. I'm gonna exile the top card of your library. Hundred percent goad. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, there goes the Fathom Mage. Yep. Are you gonna cast that? You can cast it. I mean, it does synergize well with the commander. Yeah. Let's go cast it. Whenever plus one plus one counter is put on it. Leave it up as a blocker. Thanks. You're welcome. So, have you guys seen the movie 300? Yes. I have not. Does she not remind you of the uh, Oracle? <laughs> Who is the Fathom Mage? Yes. The Fathom Mage. Sort of. Okay, where does this leave me? Without a fathom mage. Well, without a fathom mage, that's first and foremost. <laughs> uh, and I believe I will be casting. I will be casting uh, my other commander. Mm, yes. I will allow this, as I do not care. Appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, that's it. I'm going to pass the turn from here. Let you guys put plus one, plus one counters on it. <laughs> I am going to activate my myriad lance. Myriad landscape's good. It's good land. All right, there we go. I and used to run it inside. Puts you at... Uh, a number. It's six lands. Just enough to cast a Kefnitz Monument and Harold, Harold's Horn if you so chose. Probably not going to. But well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I'll uh, keep them around. That's fine if you cast them. I'm just going to cast this Kefnitz Monument for now. Okay. Okay. I, I, I approve of anything you cast. Oh, I'll tack Austin again and make him goad. Yeah, you can go uh, I'm fine with that. <sighs> I would give you a high five, but, you know, MTGO. <laughs> it's okay. Here we go. Boom. Nailed it. Score. Nailed All right. it. Uh, I'm done. Pass turn. <clears throat> You're supposed to I'm play not... something else, though. I, I'm supposed to. You're supposed to tap out. I agree. Well, no. Playing something else will help him, uh, you know. Give me plus one, plus one counters. Everybody calm down. It's all right. Um, just just pass, pass through my turn. Come on. Go. Moto, I understand. Go. That looks like a lot of mana over there. Where green or uh, green, red? Red, both. <laughs> Ooh, look at that! One land taps for five. Yep, and then another three from from the commander. <laughs> One good thing is that the more creatures you spam out, the more uh, counters on my <laughs> Shia. Hello, this is true. We could make a pact and just kill Austin. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Austin also has counter mana open, by the way. Uh, I've got two mana open. There's a difference. Uh, 
Back up to seven. Ooh, Beast Ooh. Whisperer. That is a good magic card. That is so I hear. So, uh, you're gonna goad Austin, right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. We'll see what happens. Ooh. Oh. oh. I like this. I mean, Austin. it helps you counter that i mean i don't i don't have open mana yeah you do you have two he's yeah, already has the time it helps. all right that's gonna be a nope <sighs> saying it helps the wizards <laughs> it does not, it helps, not enough it helps the wizards the goblins and the elves but not not me over here i'm group hug <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, yeah, that's fine. I can be on top. Ooh, that's even no keeping fun. keeping the the creature tapped down too. All right. Jeez, Austin. I mean, I'm I'm on uh, Reed's side here. Your triggers, and it I know, only figure something else out. it only stalls for a turn, and you know, you could return my fathom mage back to my hand. I would appreciate that. I could, or I could return the hammer of Zon back to his hand. <laughs> okay, make him cast it again. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yep. No coat of arms. <clears throat> Okay, well, how do we deal with the coat of arms later, though? I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a one-time and now I do not. Hmm. All right, let's try this again. Oh, okay. you can cast it. I'm tapped out. I'm just going to make you do it. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate uh, you making him cast a, another spell. I hope spell. you remember that. <laughs> is that okay Austin? oh yeah okay I, I mean I... honestly you probably should have bounced the uh gauntlet no the the bird I mean I, I was gonna say the gauntlet though too over the well, over I mean, the hammer the the counters would then probably go to Rayhan, but I mean at least Rayhan's that's true the counters would go to Rayhan. It can be blocked by wizards, goblins, and <laughs> elves. And I will chomp with a warrior. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's go ahead and cast this Godo. Oh, no. Oh, there's game. Maybe. I don't believe uh, Helm is in there. <clears throat> But it does mean he gets to put the equipment into play. And he's got some card draw with Fathom Mage, too. Yeah. What am I worried about here? I don't even know. Like, you've all got some pretty powerful things going on, and I've got a... Luckily, I have a flyer. Well, I think you're the only person who has a blow-up-the-board spell. Yeah, I mean we've right. got uh, da, da, da. you've got red that'll do it too. I don't know if red wants to blow up the board right now. I think the only person that's really worried about it is uh, Austin. Yeah, let me just draw one of those real quick. Cool. What to get? It's cold clamp. Uh, hmm. he's like, uh, no. <laughs> that way, if your uh, your Ranko dies, you get to draw more cards. Sure. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's the Black Blade. <laughs> yeah, that is in fact a Black Blade. Thank goodness he only has five lands. Yeah, only five lands. So All right. that makes it a nine eight. Oof. 
Oof. Uh, uh... Wait. Oh, did you just sack Grenzo? He did indeed. And Skirt and Prospector. the Prospector. Ooh. To play a sword of war in peace. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> this is fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> I'm all right with this. I'm all right with it. Uh, yeah. All right. Austin can only block with Rayhawk. I mean, why am I blocking? Anyone else can block. No, I said you can only block with Rayhawk. <clears throat> yeah. Um, hmm. Okay. It's a lot of goblins. Let's do a random number generator real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a second. Protection One, two, from three. red, white, indestructible, and an 11. You're going to make 11 goblins. I don't know if Coat of yep. Arms uh, does any, any good for you anymore, though. When I'm definitely something. not playing it now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm really glad that I... Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Random <laughs> jump, a number generator said seven. <laughs> I did it again. It said go to your second main <laughs> phase. Right. <laughs> Try again later. Oh, jeez, I did it again. I am so happy about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not want to lose a warrior. I did not want to lose the game. That seemed pretty crazy. Hmm. What do I do here? Uh... No, let's let's go ahead and cast a uh, contentious plan. All right, that's some proliferation. Yeah, just give my guys a couple more counters. Uh, I feel like you just really wanted to play a Traxa, but you didn't want to record it. <laughs> did I... not want to play a Traxa. No, I didn't want to play a Traxa. I mean, I could have. Okay, um, where does this leave me? I mean, it leaves me with a 10 power creature. Jonathan, should I be worried about you? Like, you were gonna n random number generator me, you yeah. know. It, it wasn't you, it was gonna be a random number. Oh, I see, I see, okay. Uh, one through four, and it gave him seven. Right. He has the scariest board currently. Reed, you also are blue. So I think, uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I have I have not aggressed on to you. Excuse me. Okay. What about elves? What about elves? I mean, elves are a little scary, but but without the 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 nurturer untapping during his turn, it's a lot less mana. And then there's beast whisper. Maybe I should aggress on the elves. No, uh, no, what, no, no, no. Jonathan, you want to get that random you. number generator for me again, you know? <laughs> I'm doing nothing here, okay? Yeah, hey, hey, let me pull it up just a sec. Let me go back to Google here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want one, two, three? Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay. I'll uh, just just give me a number and I'll tell you which one it is based on that. It's, it's three. All right, that's you. All right. <laughs> Whack. Uh, taking ten in the air. Potentially sure. lethal next turn, and you did you did attack me earlier in the game, you know. That that is okay. Grenzo. <coughs> this is somewhat warranted. Hmm. I mean, I'm kind of okay with what uh, what Terry's got going on over there because it's really just gonna continue to give me counters. Oh yeah. All right, I'm going to play Harold's one. All right, thanks, Reed, for the counters. I, I also appreciate them. Always here, always here. All right, and I'm going to name Barbarian. Now, Jonathan, just because this is lethal on you doesn't mean I'm going to attack you. What if I just attack you back? Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. You know, I, I feel All right, like... All right, pass turn. 
it will be fair. I feel like we're in a good spot right now. (laughs) 28 health here. Yeah, 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 exactly. All right, pass turn. (laughs) I mean, you chose to skip your combat, you know. It was an accident. (laughs) (laughs) Tap to untap a forest. To make a make a dork. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna make another elf. Oh yeah, an arch druid also produces a ridiculous amount of mana. Yes, it does. Hmm. Maybe I made a mistake. <laughs> My <Might've been. laughs> no. We'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Just play another ten cards, and we're good. He's gonna play the elf that lets him untap the elf. He's going to windmill slam that coat of arms and smack somebody. He could indeed. You know, coat of arms before uh, before Jonathan untaps. Ouch. 16, 17 mana on two lands. Correct. 18, 18 mana on two lands. Oof. 19. 19, 19 mana on two lands. <laughs> yeah, it's good. All right, what are you? What's the plan here? It's play a Zuri win. Is that how many activations is that? Just three. Three. Yeah, it's not that yeah, scary if you want to. If that's what you want to do. Um, you might Genesis way for a lot, but you guys have open mana. I do. I have open mana. That doesn't like me having open mana doesn't mean anything. I'm just gonna do more shenanigans. Like, are we are we worried about Azuri or no? Like what what's the consensus from the other two uh, at the table? I don't know. Jonathan's coming in with that massive Grenzo next turn, and I, the only, there's only one yeah. way to give haste in green, and it's a uh, concordant crossroads. So, well, the way things sit currently, it's four four untapped creatures that can attack and if he wanted to put in all his activations on azuri he could right but it's... but then he's tapped out and yeah exactly dies exactly. To Jonathan? exactly so i don't yeah. know i'm i'm gonna let this uh i'm gonna let this be okay i, I mean i don't have anything i don't have any counter spells but i just thought you know i, I wanted to talk about it you know right right <laughs> for, one for no reason you know <laughs> So so we're we're still cool, Terry. Like, think, I, I let your card resolve. I mean, without my counter spells, that's okay. Oh <laughs> no. Okay. So this this card uh, does something ridiculous. It does. I think that produces infinite mana. It does. And infinite card draw and infinite everything. <laughs> I think he just needs infinite mana. I think that I do gets need countered. Infinite mana. Uh, you know what? This doesn't get countered. It does not. It does not, in fact. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Yep. I have my reasons. You. I think uh, maybe the best way to do this is to just like yield up into a certain point. And you let me know when you're going to head to combat, Terry, and then I'll, I'll I'll turn off auto yields. How does that sound? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I I'm mean, gonna if you're uh, gonna if you're gonna destroy my stuff or exile it or anything like that, I I, I think regenerate stops that. I mean, if he to fairy protections, he wins because he's going to hit me on the crack bat. What? That's, I think the plan. What? <laughs> no. You could just not swing. You you could, could just not swing, <laughs> and then he takes me out anyway. Uh, or just, yeah, just attack him with your general, and then I'll all out attack him. Okay. Um, but then he Teferi's protection anyways. Yeah. yeah, I mean he would, but he would still take my attack, and I still get a draw. I mean, what? I could just stop. You could, and then just do it all over again next turn. My well, question... okay, so. My question right. becomes: Do you have any elves with reach, like at all? Yes. Yeah, because then then you just play elves with reach, and then I can't, you know, blocking doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. 
Well, do you have? I guess you have more than one elf with reach. Would be the question. Doesn't matter. Why not? Because I can just regenerate it. Correct, but it has to. It it. has to resolve. I have to find it, but I got it in here. All right. (laughs) Is it the death touch reach you get, guy? No. No. So this is why I could not counter the uh, the coat of arms. Uh, counter target creature. Nice. Put a little bit of counter on something. <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> so now, where does that leave us? Well, now. <laughs> do this again go from my other reach guy okay so you do have another reach guy hmm i'm pretty sure i've got two of them okay 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 so yeah reach you got a one three with reach enough to block my commander unless i draw some sort of removal next turn yeah that That's exiles yes exactly which I've got a couple, uh, yeah, swords, a swords and path. Uh, I believe, I can't remember if I'm wearing uh, running reality shift or not. I mean, either way, I'm gonna just phase myself out of the game now. All right, I have to make a decision. Okay, so <laughs> you can either counter my Teferi's protection, or uh, you no, can. No, I can either just make it can't win or i can not do anything make it to where like by countering the reach creature or what is the let's just see what you got well you see i have a kefnitz monument on the battlefield ah yeah but i think we're just gonna tap Tap. We're gonna prevent that from untapping during your next untap step. There we go. Make what not untap? During the fauna shaman. The fauna shaman won't untap during your next untap step. This is true. Okay. <laughs> okay oh, so look, a top of library. That's fine. You have a teferi. I have a teferi. What does this do exactly? Does this fizzle my protection or no? No, I don't think so. You've already oh. cast the spell. Yeah, exactly. Right. What I could have tapped down your your uh, Ishan, Ishai. Oh, I see. And I then see. you wouldn't have been able to untap and hit him. Gotcha. See. <laughs> right. <clears throat> I mean, I still untap and don't hit him. Like. Currently. 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 Well, they're both tapped out now, so it's just up to you to decide what you want to do with the rest of your turn. And let me make sure I'm yielding through this. Yeah, I'm going to probably take them two out. At least try to. Why is it making me... Please don't. Is it uh, is it Crater Hoof time? Because I think that would be lethal on them. Just throwing that down. It's going to be lethal whether I throw Cater Hope or not. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, I, I, well, yeah, I guess you just have to activate Azuri. It does the same thing. There it is. Yeah. If I had Teferi's protection myself. Yeah, you should have, Jonathan. Come on. <laughs> All the cool kids are doing it. <clears throat> Those are some hefty hefty elf warriors the tokens alone are at a crazy uh amount of damage i think that should be it yeah that should be and you know if you uh do you have enough mana to just do it again you know if you so choose i have enough mana to do it on your turn yeah (laughs) 
All right. I just need to somehow be able to get my Teferi's protection from exile, you know. You, you can just attack me with one. I'm not going to block anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, let me make sure. Oh, wow. Anything at, anything at read? The other 90 damage? Six. Six, I mean. Oh, does it still let you attack me for some reason? Still gives me the chance, yep. Well, you should definitely send all your attackers at me then. Yes, and while at Austin. <laughs> See what happens, you know? Moto, Moto might let it go through. <clears throat> all right. Vigilance. Pseudo vigilance. I'm just going to attack block with Austin's guy. Oh, okay. Just yours. Yeah, put it in the <laughs> bin. Thanks. Appreciate it. And you're going to block. You're going to double block. Is this. The, this doesn't kill anything, does it? Quad blocking something actually does? Maybe. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, it might. We're going to do it. Yeah. Uh, no, I think that's, I think nope. Yeah, you're twenty nine. It's twenty nine. Yeah. I mean, then again, I just buff him anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Regenerate him. All right. Well, good game. I'll let let's see let's see what happens if I draw that singular exile spell. Negative fifty two. Negative one twenty seven. All right. All right. Good game, guys. <laughs> Ow. Here we go. This is it. Let's get that uh, get that path to plowshares, swords to exile. Ooh, you got it. You got it. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. That's not good. I drew a uh, Gyre Sage. Uh, oh. Pretty, pretty close to the. Uh, Path to exile, but not quite uh, what you'd expect. Go ahead, gain your life. Uh, what else do I got? Uh, oh, um, let's just go uh, master, master biomancer. You know, oh, I can't even tap right. Let's go blue green. He's slow rolling you. Look at that. Look, you can't see this <laughs> open. Oh, master biomancer. Not quite. Not quite doing it. Hey, my gyre sage is a seventeen eighteen though, so that's nice. <laughs> 18, 19. And then, Too bad uh, it's, it's equal to the number one one counters on it and not its power. Let's just make all my creatures indestructible, you know. That way, uh, if you do choose to block, uh, at least at least my commander stays alive. I mean, if I were you, though, I would I would just block Rayhan. No, no need to. Block Shia. Uh, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, now you hit now you hit two or one to just skip through the rest of the turn and <laughs> No, I'm trying to find the reaching guy. Uh yeah, I see him uh, next to the fierce empath on my my board. I know you got a lot going on over there. Uh you're actually blocking Rayhan right now? <clears throat> Yes, one is Rayhan and one is the bird. Oh, no, no. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'm going to... Uh, do you want to attack? I can give you the, the luxury if you want to kill me that way, or I could just concede. It's, real, it's really up to you. I mean, what would be better for you? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I think it's over, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I, have no, I have no blockers, so I think I'm just going to concede from here. Oh man, that was uh, that was something. That was a good game. Uh, starting on what one mana for like ever. One mana for four <laughs> turns. Four Five turns. Turn. Yeah, and then uh, that that Lamok and and uh, you know your 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 mana mana elves really really got you there. So great game. Thanks uh, thanks so much for joining us for this one. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah. It was I actually had fun. Like I I didn't mean for it to be so convoluted <laughs> and slow, but 
I mean, that's that's what combos are, though, aren't they? They're they're very like you know, I win the game. I, the the only reason why you played it out was because of the fact that I had Teferi's protection, and I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I the main thing was the reach creatures. I'm like, if you got two creatures with reach, by all means, you got it. And I yeah, could have scooped it up there. You you countered that first one, and I was like, ah, uh, do I have another one? Yeah, because. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, yeah, thanks for joining us. You want to tell us uh, the name of your, your Twitch channel? It's uh, Right now it's uh, Damon863, D-A-M-A-N-863. And what time um, and days do you usually stream? Do you have a schedule right now? or? I, I haven't set one up at the moment. Um, I'm still well, trying to get it started. Yeah. Uh, uh, either way. Once I get one, though, you know, if you're in any of their discords, I'm there. And definitely. You'll see it pop up. Yeah, and if you're if you're watching, just give them a follow, and and it gives you like scheduling times. You know, you can anytime it goes live. You know, play some 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 commander. So yeah. absolutely, I play a little bit of commander. I play a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, so why not come on? It it takes two seconds to click. All right. Well, good game, guys. Again, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Y'all have a good one. Bye. Well, that wraps up this episode of Singleton Showdown. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, tell us why, share on social media, and subscribe to the channel. And you can also help us out directly by subscribing to our Patreon, where you'll be able to see new episodes of the Multiverses series before anyone else. Thank you to our current Patreon supporters, and thank you for watching.